Where are we headed? To Lost Precursor City? Oh, what of you? <laughs> okay, well, we got some stuff over here. And there's the robot. Okay, that's enough to max out our health here. Hop onto this. Whoop! Take that. And these. I assume I need to shoot at something. What should I be shooting at? Maybe that little centerpiece there? Oh, or okay, in the eyes. That works too. I'll have to do this one shot at a time though. Alright, what are you doing? I'm hoping it can- Oh, okay, we'll jump on this. Woo! That was close! Oh, yeah, I see the dark eco in there. That's what he's trying to get to. What's he doing? Ugh! Ow! Do not want. Yeah, they're covered in spikes, so none of my normal attacks would work. Echoness for the fireball! Uh oh, get the blue eco, get ready to super jump. Alley-oop! Woo! Alright. Yeah, those explosions are making that thing get bigger and bigger. Ow! Rings of death. Ow. Say goodnight, Jack! Dexter, time and place. Okay, yeah, this could be a bit of a long boss fight. Of which we haven't seen many of in this game. Yeah, it's scripted to open up at least a little bit. What? Oh. Okay, yeah, just suicide bomb me, why not? Sheesh! Okay, let's get ready to jump. Eco won't protect you now. Hello? Okay, yeah, so it's set to explode at the same time every time. Okay, now we gotta fight those things again. Just stay on the fireballs and these guys shouldn't be too much of an issue. Alright. I have to make this thing open up more. Get the blue eco and let's super jump. Pretty straightforward boss fight so far once you know what you need to do. Alright, what's he doing now? Oh, right, the ring. Ugh. There we go. 
Oh, doing this again. Ow! No! Knock back! Ah! I was doing so good! Oh! That was dumb. Okay, I think part of the trick for this is to try some single jumps. Oh! That's so you have enough time to, like, jump over them. Can these fireballs destroy them? No, they don't affect them at all. Ugh. Alright, what else you got? Nope, oh, more of those. Wonder if I should be doing something. Can, can I shoot him with this? Oh, just dove right into that, like a doofus. Okay, yeah, you have to attack the robot while dodging those. Oh, it's another one of those. Out of here! It's getting wider and wider. Oh, what are you doing now? Whoa. Take them out. Super lasers. Looks like as long as you keep moving, it won't hit you. That wasn't so bad. Your machine's not looking so great right now. Super goop! Sacrifices you make, Daxter. Uh oh. Should I do something? Oh. Do something. What the? hardened. Victory dance! Well, it looks like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, none of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Yeah, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring him on! We can take him again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Whoa! Put it on ice, big guy!
And looks like that's the end of the game. Uh, that's a nice uh, background to end it on. Just a nice close-up of the dark eco. Maybe we'll see what happened to those two at the end. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, overall, I did wind up missing, I think, seven of the power cells in that game. In this game. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be showing going back for them. Simply because I've already shown all the levels and... From what I've heard, it's not really worth the effort to try and go back for 100 just to see what happens differently. But, eh. If you've played this game, you know what happens. But, from a blind run perspective, I was pretty happy with how this game came out. It was a little on the short side, I think. A little easy. But there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it was a lot of fun to play, I gotta say. If I had to give this thing a score, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. It definitely feels very much like a Spyro game. That, that's the game it feels closest to. With some uh, inspiration from the various Crash games, of course. Which, I was actually a little surprised by that, if I'm totally honest. Uh, this being, uh, being made by the same developers that did Crash Bandicoot, I'm a little surprised that it's taking more inspiration from Spyro, it seems like. I mean, like I said, there are the Crash Bandicoot elements here and there, but it definitely feels closer to Spyro. And again, that's not a bad thing, just unexpected. All the levels in this game were pretty w good. Um, I think I liked Sentinel Beach the best. Although, the levels in their design kind of start taking a nosedive, starting with Volcanic Crater. That that half of the game really feels like it was kind of rushed, in a way. I'm not sure, but just seems a little empty. The, the students of Rancho Canada Elementary School? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. So, yeah, now we're just getting into the Sony credits now. Um, don't really have much else to say about this game. I... Was very fun. It was a very fun game. I give it a seven out of ten, and it, yeah, I would definitely recommend checking this one out if you've never played it before. As for Jack Two and Three, I don't really have any plans to do those games blind. I'm probably going to play those games on my own time, but I might consider doing a review video covering those games and this one in more detail if people really want it. But I wanted to at least do this one blind, because it was the game that followed up on Crash Bandicoot. It was... This was high on my hit list for games to play blind, and I've done that now. And I'm glad I did. It was a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed this one. Good job, Donnie Dog. So with that, I guess we're just going to wait out the credits here. I'm kind of sitting around waiting to see if something is going to happen after the credits roll is over. Uh, yeah, that's something. I, I didn't really hear much in the way of music in this game. Uh, some of it, some of the reason for that was because of sound effects and stuff, but, uh... I don't really remember much of the way of the music of this game, I gotta say. That's probably one of the only downsides I would have to it. I mean, what we're hearing to, what we're listening to right now, I guess it's not bad, but not exactly memorable either. Oh well, it's somewhat ambient, it's there. But it's the but no the soundtrack's probably not going to be making any scoring with me. Tayuka Ono. <laughs> Somebody's last name is Ono. But there's another one. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that that's funny. Uh, yeah, just... 
The joys of waiting on credits. I'm sure it's not going to be as bad as a lot of Sonic games have been lately, where those credits go on for up to, up to like 10 minutes. But I guess it was starting with games like this that they start giving credits to, like, every country involved. They got, we just saw Europe and Japan. It's because now they have to give credit to, like, everyone involved in the publishing of the game. Like, everybody at Sony Computer Entertainment in every country. So they have to credit all the PR people and the human resources people. Everyone is in here. It's not just the developers anymore. I'm not saying they shouldn't be credited, but it's making the credits go on much longer than it used to. Credits never used to take this long on, like, the Super Nintendo or the N64 or the PS1. It was basically just the people involved and that's it. We didn't need to give credit to to the uh, localization teams of every individual country. At least not to my knowledge. I mean, we're already long past the uh, development of the game itself. Uh, but it looks like we're at the end now, so good. What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells! Oh boy! Here we go again! So, yeah, I guess that's the door that we would have to open with all 100 power cells, and, uh... We would go through it and probably fall off the cliff there. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. This door will probably open up. Would probably reveal that one little thing hinting at the next game, but, uh, yeah. Uh, as far as this blind run is concerned, we're pretty much done here, so... Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the blind run of Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. This is The Red. See you next game. Oh, hey! Guess what I just found out I could do? You can crouch, and then jump to do a high jump! Just like it works in Crash. I can't believe I didn't think to try this until now. Oi, would have made some jumping puzzles a little easier, I'm sure, but... Yeah, why did they never cover moves like this earlier in the game? Ugh, oh well. Thanks for watching, see you next game.